Today Elizabeth and I are going to show you how to make these beautiful cupcakes and it's actually a wonderful adult indulgence and it is also all about the icing. Now to make these cupcakes we have used our vanilla cake mix or you can use the chocolate cake mix and you make it up according to the packet instructions. So we'll put that away and the kind of paper case that you use. This one is too big. This is for muffins and we're wanting to use these smaller ones that size and you'll use two trays this size and that's how it works. To bake these cupcakes you use one heap tablespoon of the mixture and you just scoop it in with another, another tablespoon and then you bake them at 200 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes and they must be completely cold before you ice them. Right, now the icing that we're going to do is a butter icing and you take 125 grams of butter which must be at room temperature and it mustn't be oily. So if you just, you can make an indent with your finger and that's perfect, it mustn't be running away. And we have got two cups of icing sugar and it is very important that you sift it because it does have lumps in and it must be sifted. And the icing I'm going to make today is an orange icing and I've got two tablespoons of orange juice and about a rind from one orange. So I'm going to beat this up until it's nice and smooth. There we go, nice and fluffy. And then you gradually add the icing sugar. Now you also stop halfway through and you just make sure that you scrape down the sides and then we'll carry on. Alright, now I'm going to be adding the juice. That's two tablespoons of juice and the rind. And we'll just give it one more beat. You want it nice and smooth. Now of course you do know that it's much better to use butter than margarine. It's got a much nicer flavour also. So there we have a lovely smooth orange icing. Now if you don't like the orange icing you can just use the butter and the icing sugar and then you can add colour. But you must be very careful when you add the colour, just add a drop at a time and make sure you mix it in well. And you'll see that we've done a lovely rose colour with another icing that we're going to do. And if you want to make a couple of different colours for your, out of this batch then just divide the icing up and colour it but really use only a drop. And what you can also do is give it a lovely flavour. You can use a strawberry flavour or a vanilla flavour and also rose water is very nice to use but make sure you just use a tiny bit of that, half a teaspoon because it's very strong and that will be very nice with the pink colouring. Another tip for you is that the cupcakes freeze very well. So if you haven't got time to do the icing and the cupcakes together, you can freeze the cupcakes and then when you're ready, take them out of the freezer but, and, free, and thaw them at room temperature and while they're thawing, then you can make the icing. I'm going to show you how to ice and decorate these lovely little cupcakes. So first of all, the big thing is use generous amounts of icing. We take a teaspoon and blob a big blob of icing on and smooth it around until you get a relatively flat bed or a flat coating on top of the cupcake. And then what you can do to get that really generous look is take another blob, put your cupcake down and blob it on top. Just like that. And then you can use your spoon to just make little patterns and smooth it. But by keeping a nice heap in the center to make like a little triangle effect in the, in the center and then to get like nice frosting um, or nice little peaks which is also a, a nice way to, to finish your icing just um, lift your teaspoon sporadically up and you'll develop and the, the icing will st obviously sticks to the back of the teaspoon and just develops these lovely little peaks. To finish that off we use fabric ribbon which I have made little bows out of here. It's, it's straightforward you take the ribbon, you do your little bow and you pull it quite tightly so that it feels very secure and then you just make sure when you cut them off that you cut a nice little little tail, you just snip a little tail off 
and you've got a really cute little bow which looks just like that. Now, if you're wanting to know, we've used, we managed to get about 12 little bows out of a meter of, of fabric ribbon. And then you just place the bow on top of the cupcake, just, so, just prod it down very, very gently on top so that it rests. We've done exactly the same with our, with our pink and rose flavored icing. We've also made a little platform at the bottom with the icing and, and, and uh, perked it up a little bit. And here we've used fresh rose petals. Um, which all you need to do is you, you get your rose, your bud, and you just snip off, or rather pull off very gently the petals. And you, you can use one or two petals and just also just put them on top of the very heaped portion of the icing and just secure it very gently with your fingertip. And then it'll sit very nicely. This is now a very sophisticated way of icing and decorating a cupcake and it, it actually could double up as a dessert as well as a tea time treat. So what we have here, we've got the chocolate cupcake and we've mixed up the chocolate mousse according to the pack instructions and you put it into a piping bag and then what you do, the best way to do this is to keep your cupcake on a flat surface and again we make a bed at the bottom, round, we go round the uh, top of the cupcake, as you can see, oops, big air bubble there, and you f go around the outside first and then fill in in the middle. And then what you do once the, once the bed as such is established, you go around the outside and you form a, again a peak coming up in the center of the cupcake. So you're left with a little, again like a little pyramid. And onto that, We've, we can add a little cocoa bean, which is really nice just to finish that off. And then you can also use a drizzling of, of cocoa powder also just to get that lovely um, finished look. Um, something else to bear in mind, when you are icing uh, these little cupcakes, what happens sometimes is they don't necessarily work out that the peak comes straight up. But w what you can do to make, it, make, to make sure that it does get into the center, is just shake it a little bit and then just to settle it and also when you when you're popping on the on the uh, coffee bean you can just directly just give it a bit of a push to the center it's it works quite well so if it is slightly off center don't be alarmed you can just shake it to get it um, correctly positioned if you're in the home industry you can also display them on a tray in a, mixed, um, in a mixed variety like this. So what we do here is we can just put our chocolate ones down and it's also a good idea with the chocolate mousse ones to once you've made them up to actually let them rest in the freezer for about an hour or two before you serve them because this just will, it, it, the mousse will just hold better. Rose ones and there we have a lovely tray of delectable cupcakes.